it's just nothingness, just quiet nothingness. You don't, you're not sure how to act really. And then two days later, and they go through a question, you know, do you have any injuries? And you know, everybody's like, no, 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 no. I'm good. We're, regardless if you are or not, because you want to get home. And then you fly home, and very green here, very quiet. You know, and people don't understand. If I walk on Water Street in, in Augusta, those three, four, five-story buildings, that would be like walking down through this Fran was the main drag in Fallujah. And we're constantly 360 looking, looking at my troops, looking for identifying targets. So when I came back, I uh, no experience for me. I didn't know. Um, I thought maybe after a short period of time, I'd be okay and just suck it up and, and be okay. But it didn't work out that way. He really just um, started um, behaving in a way that I just didn't know who that was, and I was shocked. Jody Liberty has known Randy since she was 17 years old. As time went on, he started to become more um, intolerant of people, and he would have this, you know, like that. His behavior would just turn, and he would be irritated, upset, and then it just kept getting worse and worse. Liberty ran for sheriff of Kennebec County and was sworn in in 2007. The job brought added responsibilities and pressure. He still believed that he could manage his emotions alone, but one incident in particular set off alarm bells. Driving an unmarked car and his wife and son with him, Liberty pulled over a driver who had angered him. Zero to 100, I was just stupidly angry. And so I put the blues on and he pulled over and of course he feels like, hey, I'm sorry, just give the finger to a cop. We and Dee got out of the, our vehicle, and our 10-year-old at the time was in the back. And so Randy went up to the vehicle, and he just about ripped the door off the hinges of this vehicle. I grabbed him and um, was going to yank him out of the vehicle, and we were going to fight. Caleb and I were watching in disbelief because we had never seen something as aggressive as that coming from Randy. He was seat belted in, he was hanging on his seat belt and he wouldn't come. So I was just ready to go and and and, and I'm the sheriff, you know. <laughs> I'm the sheriff. And so when Randy got back into the vehicle, Caleb looked at him and he said, Randy, don't you think you were a little hard on that guy? And we didn't say anything for the rest of the trip home. Co-workers also noticed changes in the sheriff. His soul was affected. You could see it in his face. Um, he was different in meetings. He was very edgy. He was open to talk about the experiences, but he had to take moments where he needed to get his um, composure back together because he was very upset about certain situations that had transpired over there. Um, but he was different. I was at you know my wit's end about what I could do for him. Um, so one morning I called his brother Ron um, as I was driving to work and he answered and I just started crying and crying and crying and I said you just have to help me. I need your help and Randy wasn't listening to me so I, I asked him to please go over to the office and talk with Randy and I didn't want him, Randy, to know that I called Ron to do this because I thought he would be upset with me because I knew he was resistant. Um, regarding treatment. Jody, she took the hardest first step in reaching outside the family and saying, listen, Ron, you know, he'll listen to you. He won't really listen to me. And, and I can understand that a lot of times when you're that close, but I'm in a different kind of position in his life. And he didn't realize that Randy was going through this because everybody else knows Randy is happy, um, joking. Um, and so when Randy comes home, he takes his uniform off and he's Randy. He's Randy to me. He's not the sheriff or he's not the soldier, but he's Randy to me. So Ron went over that morning and started talking to Randy and, Rand and Ron was so shocked at how close to the surface Randy's feelings were because when Ron just touched on a subject the subject of, of the war and combat, and Randy just broke down. I went to the VA and talked to them about it, 
I told him to give me a half an hour, and I came back here to his office, and I told him, I said, listen, I've been to the VA, I've talked to him about you, I'm, they're going to call you and make an appointment.